Hi and Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back once again to Technology Information Channel. Today we are going to explain the Perkins LCD wood wire actuators, wiring and working. This is coming in the engine Perkins, Perkin DJ, Perkin RJ, Perkin DK, which is 100, uh, 110 kVA or 100 kilowatt or 88 kilowatt generator Perkins Perkins like FG Wilson, Jet Perkins or Mrapco or FG Wilson or Eli Caterpillar or Caterpillar okay but the working is same this actuator is mounted on a Perkins uh, DPA DMP fuel pump to actuate the fuel system for boost the power engine okay this actuator a lot of time this uh, problem the engine crank but does not start how to fix that and how to understand the working principle of this actuator okay this actuator is L series actuator the working principle the name is represented the L series because this have the hook of like a L shape okay this uh, actuate the fuel the fuel uh, needle to accelerate and deaccelerate the engine with the control system so let's to understand sometime but a lot of time this doing the problem engine crank but does not start okay perkin dj perkin dk perkin rj for 100 kVA, 110 kVA of the generator, this problem, the engine crank but does not start. How to know and how to install this uh, actuator and how to fix this actuator and how to test proper this actuator that's working or not. Okay, if you have problem that's not working, that's mean your engine crank but does not start. Okay, first of all you check the fuel supply crank the fuel line and crank the engine if diesel is not coming from the uh, uh, injector pipe or fuel pump pipe that's mean the actuator is not working okay first of all we know to uh, understand the wiring of this 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 have a small connector grip this grip have 12 wires some is empty some is working okay this one number is our battery positive supply and five number is our battery negative supply. This activator first need to battery supply for the energizing. Okay. After that, first of all, you check the supply of pin number one and pin number five. That should be to you getting the battery voltage or 12 volt or 24 volt. Okay, if the system is 24 volt, you need to getting the voltage between of these two, one and five, should be getting 12 or 24 volts. Okay, how this work? Uh, when you crank the engine or push the button to start the engine this is the this is the unswitch unswitch for supply of the battery positive okay when you press the button the relay send the ground to the this one okay sometimes this is opposite the controller send the positive voltage this is unswitch and direct ground okay when you press the button the controller send the command when the fuel is turning on also the actuator is turning on with the before the starting okay when this actuator is energized then the engine crank or engine is turning the engine flywheel mounted on on the flywheel is MPU MPU 
which stand for magnetic pickup unit. This is the small AC generator. PWM. Pulse width modulation. Let's send the pulse width modulation signal to the actuator. Okay. Which pin is connected with the MPU to the actuator? One is pin number 3 and one is pin number 11. Okay. When you connect the engine, first of all, controller send the command to turning on the fuel system and turning on the actuator. Then the engine is crank over the MPU also generate a small amount of AC voltage like a 7 a 2 a 8 volt during the cranking position and send to the actuator ok send to the actuator understand the actuator is operate now this actuator will have inside the small IC chip this is the programmable actuator programmable through the laptop or computer with the software of L series actuator woodward ok when this circuit is completed this actuator like that and here was a small needle ok mounted on a fuel pump ok here is the fuel pump rake fuel increasing and decreasing accelerate and deaccelerate the fuel system this is connected with the, this link and this actuator is back and forth going back and forth controlling by the MPU signal when the MPU signal is increased this decrease the accelerator when the MPU speed, the speed is decreased this will be increased this is working vice versa opposite when the engine is accelerated too much, the MPU signal uh, is be lower. Okay, the engine is accelerated. This means the engine it's working for the synchronizing the engine system and for the to carry good amount of load of the engine. Okay, this is the complete working of the L series actuator. Okay, so I hopefully to understand. On this video uh, thanks for watching my video see you all next time and goodbye